Graduands, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the University of Manchester and to this graduation ceremony, and especially warm welcome to all you graduands whose achievements and hard work we're here to celebrate today. You take with you our warm congratulations, admiration, and very good wishes for your new life, wherever it may be. But I'd also like to welcome the family and friends and partners of our graduands, Many of you I know have traveled long distances to be here today to join in this celebration. You chose to study at a first-rate university with a name that is now recognized for academic excellence throughout the world. It's certainly, according to official figures, now the most popular university in the United Kingdom for undergraduate applications. And in your years here, Manchester has been named the University of the Year by the Times Higher Education Supplement, has won the coveted Sunday Times University of the Year Award, and won University Challenge for the first time in its 40-year history. You'll also be pleased to hear that employers consistently rate our careers service as the best in the United Kingdom, and rank us as the 12th most preferred university in the world from which to recruit. But a university is at its heart a community, and I hope that you've felt whilst you've been here that you belonged here, that you've had opportunities to learn and enjoy yourselves well beyond your strict curriculum. Whatever you go on to do, remember that at the end of this ceremony, you join the community of 180,000 University of Manchester graduates living and working across 197 different countries. And it's a very distinguished hall of fame too, with no fewer than 22 of our former staff and students who've gone on to become Nobel Prize winners. And our graduates are found in top positions in many, many professions. And as a graduate, the Alumni Association can help you stay in contact with the university and with each other through a variety of activities, through the alumni magazine, through the internet, and it's got active overseas branches in a number of different countries. So please don't make today your last day of contact with the university. Keep the alumni office regularly updated with your address changes, your news, and of course your achievements. And remember that these doors will be open to you always, 
It is your university, just as it's my university for life. And I don't want to sound sentimental, but it's just over 40 years ago that I sat exactly where you're sitting today, and I hope that you keep the friendships that you've made here as I have kept so many of mine. And I hope that your lives here on will be full of kindness, good friendship, honest hard work that you enjoy, and a lot of laughter and good fun. However hard the struggle you've had so far in life, and I know that some of you have, you've had a good education, and you're part of a small and highly privileged sector of mankind. In the whole history of the world, I believe there are no people who've had better opportunities than we few in the Western world at the beginning of the 21st century. We have our health, we have the luxury of choice, we have freedom of speech, we have good food, we have educational opportunities, and we have the prospects of a long life. Don't fritter it away. Do what you can, use what talents you have, and above all, give something to your community, and if possible, to the wider world. It's a short life from where I'm standing, Make it a good and useful one. Don't concentrate too hard on material things, however pleasant they can be, because I think it's the close and loving commitment to family, friends, and colleagues that will bring you the deepest contentment in life. Today, you graduate in many branches of engineering, and I'm always glad to be present. In fact, I asked specifically to be present on this particular day, because it gives me the opportunity to sing a little hymn of praise to engineers. Although your profession, for whatever perverse cultural reason, is not as celebrated in our society as I believe it should be, we owe you engineers an enormous debt of gratitude. Your work is from first principles, with real things that affect every single one of us. Your aeroplanes must fly. Your bridges must stand up. Your roads mustn't crumble. There are many other aspects of engineering work that I could talk about today, and I simply don't have time. But just on behalf of society, I would like to say to you, thank you, the next generation of engineers, for all the work that you're going to do on our behalf. In a moment, I'll confer on you your degrees, but let me turn briefly to your families, partners, parents, friends, and even children, if my ears don't deceive me. I just want to acknowledge, on behalf of the university, the considerable support that you've given to our graduates during their years here. Most students suffer uncertainties, experience some difficulty or other, and they need to turn to others for help at some time during their university course. Help and assistance at these times is absolutely invaluable and has contributed enormously to their well-being and success. Not forgetting all the meals, the washing and the ironing you may have done and the hard cash that you may have forked out from time to time so generously. And of course, your tolerance. The university greatly appreciates your contribution to today's graduands in helping them fulfill their ambitions. So on behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievements, and I wish you every success in your future careers. Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of Engineering in Avionics and Aerospace System with honors, Adam Robert Chapman. John Stuart Wilkinson. And in aerospace engineering with academic studies in Europe, 
with honors, Susanna Maria de Cavallo Fragoso. And in aerospace engineering with industrial studies in Europe, with honors, Nicholas Michael Bodo. And in aerospace engineering with honors, Wakas Ahmad. <laughs> Neil James Ashton. <laughs> Alexander David Baldwin. Sean Barber, <laughs> Gerard Barningham, <laughs> Jadit Dinesh Baradia, <laughs> Peter Cable. David James Charlton. <laughs> Kudzanai Chikorahara. <laughs> Anthony Trevor Clues. <laughs> Bavin Dadra. Farish Damayat. <laughs> Daniel Dyer. <laughs> Catherine Fennell. <laughs> Mark Foster, Forster. Mahesh Guru, <laughs> Matthew Elliot Gee, <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Hargreaves, <laughs> Ben Horsfall. David Hung, <laughs> Lydia Inns, <laughs> Wakash Javed, <laughs> Bibin Johnny. Ian Michael Jones, <laughs> Matthew Oliver Jones, <laughs> Philip Andre Kulajishak, <laughs> David Sebastian Langkamp. Jonathan Andrew Last. <laughs> Chung Ting Lau. <clears throat> Andrew William Alexander Manning. <clears throat> Sarah Margaret McEwen. Peter Graham Moss. Christopher Moxon. J. 
James, James David Pierce, Andrew Pearson, Paul Powell, James Campbell Prentice, Humberto Ramirez Alvizuri, Adam Ramsey, Max Elijah Reif, Daniel Peter Ruane, Mohammed Hamza Saeed, Michael David Salisbury, Michael Andrew Samples, Lara Shembri Puglisevich. Daniel James Thacker. Javier Thakur. Eliska Viralova. Andrew Paul Waslick, Sun Kid Wong, Edgar John Woodhouse, Intasar Yusuf. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering with Honours, Andrew Robert Crome, John Patrick Elbasha, San Sandeep Longia. Kiran Patel, Zhong Tai Sam Ping, Emily R. Potter, Jack Sheard. Nicholas Ryan Sloan, and in aerospace engineering with industrial experience with honors, Ahmad Ibak bin Malik. Oh, you really make the planes fly. <laughs> Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of Engineering in Engineering Manufacture and Management with Honours, James Okoro Ombudo. Ishan Ul Haq. And in mechanical engineering with business, with honors, 
Adam, Trevor, William, Ellis. Sean, Marco, Finlay. James, William, Gardiner. Francis, Elizabeth, Moore. And in aerospace engineering, with business, with honors, Abdullah Mohammed, <laughs> Mohammed Zaki Rosley, <laughs> Mohammed Umar Salim. And in, in mechanical engineering, with design, materials, and manufacture, with honors, David John Wallace. <laughs> and in, in mechanical engineering, with honors, Hardini Abdul Hamid. Rosita Akhmajid. Ashraf Fareed Asari. Matthew Adam Atkinson. Lee Barrett. Paul James Peter Benson. Patrick Lee Bettington. Victoria Jade Blower. Edward Bordas. James Richard Bridgeford. <laughs> David Anthony Brown. <laughs> Sam Arthur Carey. <laughs> Justin Nicholas College. Mark Cook. Well done, Hamish Crispin Cook. Well Stephen Coxhill. Well Christopher G. M. Darwood. Nathan Durley Boot. Thomas Joseph William Eastup. Robert Peter Howe Fleming. Matthew Henry Gibson. Edward Paul Goldberg. Thomas Edward Gray. Mohammed Azwan Harun. Stephanie Jane Holland. Mohammed Bilal Hussein. Lucy Anthea Jesuska.
John Alexander Kelly. Wendy Wing Yin Lo. John McGuire. John Henry Brando, Mills May White. Hi, Congratulations. Well done. Anas bin Mohammed Sofayan. Mohammed Ashraf Mutada Mohammed Daud. Mohammed Daniel Mohammed Sarah. Stuart Lee Moses. Robert Owen Muckle Jones. Mohammed Effendi Mukhtar. Eleanor Jane Murphy. Christopher Andrew Murray. Christopher Tochi Oni Logbu. Lynn Richard Pollard. Andrew James Roberts. Edward Keith Sace. Alistair Cyril Sequera. Mohammed Sharil Shari. Jeremy Peter Sheldrake. Mark Sherat. Edward John Williams Simpson. Amar Tajuddin. Kate Elizabeth Turner. Sydney James Valentine. Elliot Ian John White. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering with honors, Omar Al Mamari. Adan Al Dahali. Raka Izat Al Saifi. Amy Azrina Azahari. Martin Brand. Wasif Chowdhury. Ulas Darvis Erel. Kuan Ching Go. Noritsan Haji Lakar. Cairo Shazani Hij Ibrahim. 
Matthew Peter Hunt. Joseph Edward Lawton. Yik Wai Lee. Annabelle Tiu Hui Lo. Peter Low, Christopher McCarthy, Ahmed Ayub Mohammed Isa, Vincent James Mulgrove. <laughs> Dayanku Sapphire Penigran Ismail. <laughs> Henry Joseph Sheldon Richard. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor. James Vincent Ward. After Yunus. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Mohammed Majid Mohammed Al Suwedi. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering with Management, with Honours, Amir Al Shai Bani. <laughs> Abdul Basit. <laughs> James Besik. Adriano Fanigliu Lo. Omar Khalid Ahmed Hail. Keith Johnson. And Ajay Prashad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have one further duty to perform in this ceremony today, which is a, a rather special ceremony. Our Chancellor, Anna Ford, has already said to you what an important occasion today is for you, the graduates as you graduate from the university and go out into the next phase of your careers. But it's also a very important occasion for Anna and for the university, as it is her last year as the Chancellor of the University, and this ceremony is her very last duty in that role of Chancellor. Over her seven years as Chancellor, Anna has taken a particular interest in student issues and student welfare and as a reflection of this, she has presided over a great many degree ceremonies, many more than her fair share, perhaps. Um, she mentioned sitting in this hall herself as a graduate nearly 40 years ago. She did not mention that last year she had the pleasure, and we had the pleasure, of seeing her give a degree to her own daughter in this hall. So I'm sure you will join with me in showing your appreciation to Anna for all the help and support she has given to the university as its chancellor for seven years, and to wish her every success for the future.
Today we have celebrated the award of your degrees. Congratulations. On behalf of the University of Manchester, I now extend to each of you our very best wishes for your future, and I declare this ceremony closed. Would you please stand?